Dr. Pedge Reviews. What's up? And welcome to Dr. Pez's Guide to Making Let's Plays. I'm going to give you the rundown of equipment, software, and for the tools of the trade. So buckle up in your imaginary seat, unless you're in the car watching this. Then you should already be buckled up, because you're a law-abiding citizen. Ah! Step one! Step one is get a computer. There is no way around this, from my experience at least. A mobile recording app needs required to be rooted, if it's a good one, to a computer. And if you're a computer if you're a computer gamer, then you should already have a computer, hopefully. You're not a thief, are you? Law abiding citizen. Ah! Or, you know, you could be just you could just borrow from somebody else, maybe, like your sister. Step two. If you're looking to step up your game a little bit, I would suggest having a camera of any sort, including a phone, or a camcorder, or even a webcam. You'll probably want a tripod as well if you're working with the first two suggestions. I once picked out an average tripod from Walmart, well, and it was only like 25 bucks, so that's a pretty good deal, right? Law abiding citizen, don't you dare steal it! Uh... And his name is John C. The next piece of equipment you're, in, you're going to need is a microphone. Also, very helpful. If you find yourself not recording good sound with a camera, that's because those things both suck and it's time for an upgrade. People tend to enjoy your videos more with smooth sound. I myself have a pretty decent microphone, but I'm sure I'll upgrade at some point. Three! At this point, you need to be able to record yourself playing the geese games. What I use on my Kindle Fire is an app called Easy Screen Recorder, which is really reliable. It may take you a few minutes to get figure out how to get it rooted, but if you're smart, and I know you are, you can figure it out. I'm not here to tell you, though, how it would work on an iPad, because I don't have an iPad. Or, and I've never had one before, so I have absolutely no idea what kind of software you can get on there, but I know you can get it. On my computer, I use a program called ScreenPresso. It's easy to access, and it was very efficient. One problem would be that it doesn't record the game's sound, but that's a small price to pay for it being free. No pun intended. I am number four. This next part is my personal favorite part of the entire Let's Play making business, if you can call it a business. Anyway, I've been working with editing for a very long time now, and I like to use Filmora at the time which is the one clip you just saw, but it is among the it is about among the best programs that I've ever used, you know. I mean, it is somewhat pricey, costing 49 bucks, so pretty much 50, but, you know, it's not the worst. You could be paying 20 bucks a month, and that adds up very quickly. I actually am using Windows Movie Maker to do all my Dr. Pez reviews because it's easier to work with, it's really simple, it's really great. And I think that's just about all I got to say for editing. It's the final countdown. Ba ba bing bong. Ba ba bing bing bong. And the final, most important thing about making a Let's Play. Making it personalized. Making it what's different about you from every other gamer out there on YouTube. It is the best thing you can do. It is the most important part, and I think I know why nobody watches mine, because mine are definitely not very original. I'm just thinking of, like, everything that I've seen. Kind of like pre-high school romances. Don't ask. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then like and subscribe. Or, you know, if you kind of liked it, just tell us what you think in the comments. Find us on Facebook for behind-the-scenes footage and interviews, I guess. And all links will be in the description. Goodbye, until next time.